Iga Swiatek versus Ludmila Samsonova. It's the final of the China Open for 2023. And both players have been impressive to get to the final. Samsonova entered the tournament unseeded and will take on Parks in the first round. This is no problem getting through in the straights. 6-4, 7-6. In the second round, she'd take on the number 12 seed, Kvitova. And after a close second set, Samsonova would get through in straights. 6-4, 7-5. In the third round, she'd take on Kostchuk, who had just beaten Ons Jabeur in the previous round. And after a close second set, Samsonova would fight through to win. 6-4, 6-7, 7-5. Five. In the quarterfinal, she'd take on the 13th seed, Ostapenko, who had just destroyed Pagula the fourth seed in the previous round. This was the easiest match so far for Samsonova, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-2, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Samsonova took on the number five seed, Rabakina, who had just taken out world number one, Sabalenka, in the previous round. And after a close first set, Samsonova would win in straights, 7-6, 6-3, to advance to another 1,000 final this year. Sviontek entered the tournament as the number two seed and would take on Tormo in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights, 6-4, 6-3. In the second round, she'd take on Gracheva. And again, no problem for Sviontek getting through in straights, 6-4, 6-1. The third round, she'd take on fellow Polish player Lynette, who she'd actually never played before. However, this is no problem getting through in straight sets, 6-1, 6-1. In the quarterfinal, she'd take on Garcia, the number nine seed, who had started to play well over the last few weeks. And after two very tough first sets, Fiontek would run away with the third, 6-7-7-6-6-1, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Fiontek would take on the number three seed, Goff, who she had lost to in Cincinnati a couple of months ago. But this time, Fiontek would get revenge, getting through in straights, 6-2-6-3, to advance to the final. These two have played twice before, with Fiontek leading the head-to-head 2-0, including a match they played in Dubai back in February of this year. Fiontek getting an easy win, so Samsonova's going to really have to change things up if she's going to be a threat in this final. If Samsonova's going to win this one, she needs to serve well like she did against Rabakina. Also, she needs to be aggressive like she was against Rabakina. She hit so many errors, but she also hit so many winners. So she's going to have to try and balance that, I guess, winner to error ratio if she is going to beat Sviantek. Because we do know Sviantek does struggle against players that do play aggressive against her, like players like Ostapenko, for example. If Sviantek's going to win this one, she just needs to use her finals experience because, of course, she's been in so many of these big finals before. Samsonova is still new to the scene here. So it's a big chance here for Sviantek and also to do what she did in Dubai. She won so easily. If she does that game plan, she should get another win. This is probably not the final that we expected or maybe not even the final that we wanted, but Samsonova earned her spot. And this hasn't been the only time she's been in this situation, but you've got to go with Sviantek based on experience to get through this one, probably win this one in a couple of sets, maybe goes three, but I think Sviantek lifts the trophy. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think's going to win?